My name is Nick Priest. I'm 28 years old. Eight years ago, I was studying audio engineering. But whilst I love music, on this journey, I discovered I love flying more. I believe everyone is capable of doing anything they set their mind to. For me, this was becoming an airline pilot. From the outset, I knew this was never going to be an easy task. Multiple exams, multiple flight tests, and hundreds of hours building flying experience. But fast forward eight years, and I've flown the Boeing 787, and now the Airbus 320. My job has taken me all around the world, traveling to destinations I would have only ever read about. I wasn't born special. I wasn't born privileged. I simply did the one thing everyone is capable of doing. I made a choice. A choice to not let life pass me by. A choice to turn my passion into a reality. My name is Nick Priest. I believe everyone is capable of doing anything they set their mind to. It's time for you to unleash your potential. What's going on friends and welcome back to another video and for those of you that are new here, welcome. As you have seen by the intro, my name is Nick Priest. I am currently a first officer on the Airbus 320 based here in Melbourne, Australia. And I hope you guys did all enjoy that intro there. Before we dive straight into today's topic, that intro there was not meant to be a flex or anything like that. It was giving you a quick intro obviously of my story and how I became an airline pilot. Obviously if you want me to expand on that, I'm happy to create a video and go into that further. But that was more obviously giving my story, a little bit of background about me and I was wanting to inspire you guys and motivate you guys because yes, right around the world, obviously there's been some hard times going on. So I hope you guys can take a little bit of motivation and maybe some inspiration out of that intro there as well. But without further ado, let's get straight into today's topic. So to answer the question, and I'm sure the reason you've clicked on this video, should you become an airline pilot in 2021? I'm not gonna keep you in suspense. The short answer is yes. So I know it may not seem like it now, but I'm pretty sure when this whole coronavirus pandemic is over, the whole world obviously right now is wanting to get out and travel because a lot of people obviously have been in lockdowns right around the world and haven't been able to travel. So coming into, I guess, when the world starts to deal with the whole situation, you know, such as vaccines and stuff starting to be implemented right around the world and people being vaccinated and air travel does open up right around the world, there's gonna be a lot, a lot of people wanting to travel again. And in turn, obviously that means there's gonna be more flights and airlines are going to obviously be potentially hiring more pilots. So yes, I do think once we start to get on top of this whole situation, which we slowly are starting to get there right now, air travel is definitely going to pick back up. So when air travel does start to pick back up, I'm sure you guys can guess what that means. Yes, that means that obviously airlines will be needing more pilots and therefore there will be a lot more jobs out there. Well, I think there'll be a lot more jobs out there coming and depending on what stage you are obviously in your training, that's going to either be within the next year or within the next few years. <laughs> So hopefully you guys can still hear me okay, obviously I'm outside now, it's a little bit windy, but depending on what stage of training you are at, maybe two to three years away from getting to an airline or you're only maybe one year. If you're starting out with training right now, so if you're starting out your training right now, you're probably about two to three years away from starting or getting into an airline. And to be honest, that's kind of perfect timing because in two to three years time, we should hopefully obviously be over this whole COVID situation and there will be a lot of air travel going on. Everyone will kind of be back to some sort of normality. Obviously that may not be what it looked like before, but there will be obviously a lot of travel still going on right around the world and obviously airlines will be hiring a lot of people and therefore hopefully your job into an airline will be sitting there waiting for you in two to three years time now you might be sitting there watching this video thinking damn it nick you're telling me i'm gonna have to wait two to three years 
I'm already a year into my training. And no, that's not necessarily what I'm saying. Things obviously can, and they have shown already that they're picking up quite quickly. Now, if that's not necessarily the case, obviously, if you're midway through your training, I would obviously not recommend stopping. Continue with your training. There's obviously always going to be things to learn and courses to complete. And obviously, in the meantime, if your end goal is to get into an airline before you actually start with an airline, there may be jobs such as like flying private jets, for example, that obviously still will be going and opportunities for you to continue with your flying career. It's like anything though, obviously, there is no guarantee. So flying may not pick back up as quickly as I am thinking, and obviously, we're all hoping that it will and it may take a little bit longer but in the interim I obviously do not think at all it is any time to be stopping your flying training do not delay starting your flying training because because if you do delay your flying training now and only decide to start flying again when the world starts to pick back up and air travel actually starts to pick back up a lot more than what it is now there's every likelihood that you yourself may not be ready to actually start and get into an airline or start with another company doing another sort of aviation career as I said before such as flying a private jet or obviously flying cargo around the world right now that is booming. I know cargo pilots that are actually doing way more hours than what they were doing pre-COVID and they're actually in overtime as well. So it's not all doom and gloom. Obviously the aviation right now is a bit of a downturn but that is going to pick back up sooner or later. Now another important thing I think to remember or look back on as well is that in history of aviation obviously there has been other downturns as well but the important thing is that if we look at the trajectory obviously throughout the last X amount of years it has been a upward trajectory. So I do think obviously that the aviation industry is going to recover right now there have been people right around the world laid off from their jobs not only in aviation but in obviously plenty of other careers as well See, I don't take for granted that I am still flying here in Melbourne Australia and borders are currently open domestically and it looks like there will be a bubble opening up with New Zealand as well so things are starting to pick back up for us here right around the world I know people have gone back into lockdown again for the third and fourth waves that they are having which obviously is really really unfortunate and I do hope things to start pick back up for you if you are in one of those countries but air travel is always going to be a thing that people will be doing and will need to do be not only for leisure and everyone wanting to holiday and travel and see the world but for business reasons as well so I hope that has helped provide some clarity or give you some more information about whether you should become an airline pilot still in 2021 that has been an extended answer there but the short answer is yes I still think you should become a pilot But if you guys did have any other questions, please comment them down below and I will do my best to answer them. Obviously, I don't know everything, but with what I may know, I would be more than happy to share with you or help you answer any questions you may have after this video. But if you guys are new here and you guys do want to connect, you can follow me on my Instagram, at Nick Priest, which will allow you obviously to keep more up to date with my day-to-day -day life when I'm flying as well. I do try to post stories. Keep you guys updated with what's going on. So if you guys want to connect with me, you guys can go to Instagram, at Nick Priest, and follow me there. Also, if it is your first time, watching one of these videos thank you do really really appreciate it make sure to hit the subscribe button you'll be the first to be notified whenever i do bring out new videos and please give this video a thumbs up if you did like it i do really appreciate that a bit of a life update uh it was otis's first birthday actually otis is our now one year old german shepherd puppy I guess he's still considered a puppy even though he's now one year old it also is my birthday um so by the time you're watching this i'll have had my birthday yeah got some exciting videos coming out uh we're going to travel again take you guys obviously with us for the journey make sure to hit that subscribe button to be the first to be notified when those new videos do start rolling out but thank you guys for watching do really appreciate it and thank you for the continued support and i'll see you guys next video